Hello, everyone, and welcome to this special episode of the Disney Dining Show. I'm Craig Williams, and today we need to talk about Walt Disney World's newest Disney Dining promotion, the Disney Dining Promo Card. But before we get to that, I do need to remind you that this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us and you want to book a vacation to take advantage of the Disney Dining Promo Card, head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no-obligation quote. I know the news everyone has been hoping for was the return of the Disney dining plan. It's been gone since the pandemic started, but it's not returning, unfortunately. For those of you who don't know what the Disney dining plan was, or you've just forgotten about it, it was essentially a way that people could prepay for their meals at Walt Disney World, whether it was a quick service meal plan, a table service and quick service meal plan, all table service meals, snacks were included. It was extremely popular. It did add a lot of convenience, and sometimes it would even be given for free as part of a vacation package. Uh, yeah, the Disney Dining promo card, though, that's not it. Um, it's not even close to the Disney Dining plan, but it still may be something that you can take advantage of and offer a little savings on a Walt Disney World vacation. Here's the deal. If you're booking a Walt Disney World vacation in summer 2023, you can get up to $2,100 in a Disney Dining promo card that can be used to purchase food and beverage items at participating locations around Walt Disney World Resort. You're gonna see the number 750 thrown out there a lot, and that's because it's sample pricing that Disney was putting out there. But after listening to the Dreams Unlimited Travel Agents, it is all based on how many nights you're actually staying, and that's how much you can get. And that's how we got the 20 $2,100 number. And we'll go over that more in just a little bit. Uh, this offer can be booked right now for arrivals from June 25th through September 14th, 2023. And if you already have a vacation booked for Walt Disney World during that time period, you might be able to modify your reservation to take advantage of the Disney Dining promo card. It's a huge perk for using a travel agency like Dreams Unlimited Travel because the agents are not only working on booking new packages, but they're also checking with their current clients to see if this promotion is something they're interested in and if it can actually save them money. Let's go over the actual details about this special offer. First off, it's at minimum a four night Walt Disney World non-discounted room and ticket package at select Walt Disney World Resort hotels. This means you need a four night minimum hotel stay with a four day park ticket. The amount of money you get changes based on when you're traveling. For example, for arrival and check-in between June 25th and June 30th, as well as July 11th through July 31st, guests at value resorts will receive $35 per night. Moderate resorts and cabins will receive $75 per night. And deluxe resort and deluxe villa resorts will receive $125 per night. For arrivals July 1st through July 10th and August 1st through September 14th, guests at value resorts will receive $50 per night, moderate resorts and cabins will receive $100 per night, and deluxe resort and deluxe villa resorts will receive $150 per night. The only hotels not included are campsites at Fort Wilderness, three-bedroom villas, and cabins at Copper Creek Villas and cabins at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. A key part to this promo is that there's technically no max to how much you can receive from it, but there is a max vacation package that you can book, which is 14 nights. That's where we're getting the $2,100 number from, is that if you do 14 nights at a deluxe resort, there you go. You have $2,100 on your Disney Dining Card promo. It's also important to remember that this is all based on your arrival date. And so let's say you check in on July 31st at the lower promotion rate, but most of your stay is in August during the higher promotion rate. Unfortunately, because of this, you're gonna receive the $35, $75, or $125 per night for the entire length of your stay. If you feel like you're leaving money on the table, you know maybe you can push the vacation a day or two so you can get into the higher promotion rate. Uh, that's always an option. You might not save money that way, uh, if you're doing a vacation that's over eight nights, then maybe you can even do a split stay if you're kind of in this little bubble where you're you're starting off in the lower promotion rate. You might be able to do four nights in the lower rate and then do four nights in the higher rate so you can take a promotion from it. It might not save you money, but there are options for you as long as you hit 
that minimum four nights on the vacation package, you can work with it. And also, don't worry if you check in on September 14th, that's the final night of the promotion, but that's not the final day. You'll still receive the promotion through the entire length of your stay, and the promo card is not valid after September 30th, 2023. Let's be completely clear here. This money amount is for the entire room, not for each person in the room, but for the entire room. And because of that, it might not seem like the greatest deal possible, but remember, everyone travels differently, vacation packages can vary, so it could be a situation where you paid the same money that you were paying before, but now you get a free Disney Dining promo card out of it, and then of course it's a deal. Uh, right now, Dreams Unlimited travel agents are seeing that guests that are booking new reservations are receiving the best deal and that clients that had previously booked vacation packages are seeing some savings, but they are paying more for the vacation package up front now, but they are getting that money back via the dining card so it does work out a little bit. Uh, the, the trend they are seeing overall though is that you will save money, it just is coming back through that Disney dining card. That being said, there were other discounts released today as well that might be a better deal for you. So we will cover that. Uh, it's not dining related. We'll get to that in a second, but we have to finish up the information on the Disney dining promo card. What are Disney dining promo cards? Essentially, they're Disney gift cards that can only be used at food and beverage locations. They've given us these before at media events and they're easy to use, they're extremely convenient, and they're basically accepted everywhere you could want to use them. But there are definitely exclusions as well too, like you can't buy food from a merchandise location or a candy kitchen. Those are merchandise spots, not food and beverage spots. So it does make sense when you think about it. Uh, you can't use it at the Swan and Dolphin or the Swan Reserve. You can't use it at the Four Seasons. You can't use it at any of the Disney Springs Resort area hotels, Bonnet Creek, Gateway. But outside of that, in the theme parks, the Walt Disney World Resort hotels, you're, you're good to go with this Disney Disney Dining promo card. You might be wondering how you're going to receive your Disney Dining promo card. Will it be physical? Will it be digital? Well, it will be digital and you'll receive it in an email after you complete your check-in process when you arrive at Walt Disney World. If you have any problems with it, of course, you can always talk to the front desk and they should be able to help you. They're going to make sure that you get your Disney Dining promo card. Inside the email, you will have a scannable barcode that all the food and beverage locations that it's accepted at will be able to scan, and that's as easy as it is. And if you want even more convenience, you can add it to your digital wallet, so that way you don't have to pull out your email every single time or walk around with a physical piece of paper that can get scanned, just goes right in your Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and it's just so, so convenient. Now there is one caveat with all of this. The Disney Dining promo cards are good up to $1,000. And when I say that, I mean the max that can be on these digital cards is $1,000. So if you're staying long enough that you go over that $1,000 limit, you're gonna get multiple gift cards in that way. So. For example, if you stay long enough that you receive $1,500, you're gonna get a $1,000 promo card as well as a $500 promo card. If you get up to the $2,100 mark, you're gonna get three with 1,000, 1,000, and 100. And so it could be something that impacts you. If you have a shorter stay, it probably won't. I mean, it, it, it can't really, but once you start getting into those longer stays, it definitely could be something that happens. Do not worry, you will still get the full amount it will just be split up just a little bit. After you have your gift card, it's really just up to you to decide where you want to use it. Are you going to use it at all quick service places? Are you going to get dining reservations and use it at your favorite restaurants? It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. But if you do forget how much money you have on your balance, I can tell you how to find that out. You can just go to DisneyGiftCard.com. You'll be able to enter in all the card information in there and check your balance. You can always call 877-650-4327 and check the balance balance, or you can go to any food and beverage location. They will be able to help you find out how much you have left on your card. Before we go, I did mention that there are other discounts that were released today, and they might benefit you more than the Disney dining card promo. They're not dining related, but they're still important to mention. 
Disney is running a room only discount for the general public, which will save you up to 25% on stays most nights, April 10th through July 10th, 2023, as well as 20% on stays most nights, March 1st through March 31st, 2023. The hotels vary and it's not cut and dry based on the hotel level. Uh, most of the deluxe resorts do fall under the save up to 25% category, but there are some that are in the 15% category like Contemporary, Bay Lake Tower, Kidani Village, and the villas at Grand Floridian. Beyond that, it's basically deluxe gets the most savings at 20 or 25% based on those dates. Moderates get 15 or 20% and the rest get 10 or 15%. 15% again based on the dates. So it's less of a discount in the March time frame, more of a discount in the summer. If you're an annual pass holder, you can actually save up to 30% on rooms from May 1st through July 10th. And this is an early booking opportunity that will eventually open up to Florida residents on January 10th. So with this offer and the room only discount, get in early. You will get the best availability and you will get the best rate. I know this has been a lot of information on the Disney Dining promo card as well as the other discounts, but hopefully it'll help you save some money on an upcoming vacation to Walt Disney World in 2023. Despite the parks feeling crowded right now, it's clear that there's a lot of availability, at least in the hotels, for a lot of 2023. And with Tron coming this spring, you know, there's going to be at least one new attraction for the summer when this promotion is taking place. So I truly hope that you're able to take advantage of one of these deals. And again, if you have any questions, you can always drop them in the YouTube comments. We'll try to get an answer for you. Or if you work with a Dreams Unlimited travel agent, you can get all those answers yourself. So to work with Dreams Unlimited Travel, head to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today. That's it for this special Disney dining show. And we'll see you again real soon with dining reviews from all around Walt Disney World. Take care. Bye-bye. I hope you save some money.